Hey hello guys welcome to Wikivox channel where the search for the truth begins a new strain of coronavirus has started to spread in the UK the UN India and many countries have cancelled all flights to the UK the second news says that a new virus is spreading rapidly in Spain the same virus has spread to the african continent Scientists say that the new strain in the UK is very contagious and dangerous. Take your pick. N501Y or B.1.17. Coronavirus is not a DNA virus but an RNA virus. This is the reason in human history an RNA vaccine has been developed and many patients have received the vaccine. To kill the RNA virus, RNA vaccine was created. What is the difference between DNA and RNA virus? A virus will copy itself and spread throughout the human body. If it is a DNA virus, the copy of the virus will check whether the genetic code of the host virus is similar or not. But RNA viruses will not look for similarity from the host virus. This is called mutation. A virus within 1 month can accumulate mutations at a rate of 1 to 2 changes. If we calculate the coronavirus, the coronavirus mutation could have accumulated 20 points of mutation until now. When a body is affected by the virus through food and medicines, the virus cannot sustain itself in a human body. So, to survive, the virus will mutate itself to overcome the medicines and the body's resistance power. When the virus changes itself according to the human body it is called mutation so for one month two points mutation can happen coronavirus could have accumulated 20 points of mutation from the discovery of the virus the 20 points includes 1000 different types of coronaviruses these changes will be smaller the scientists will study the genome structure of the virus When they studied about these mutated viruses scientists started to talk about a particular virus called N501Y the Malaysian virus was named D614G the D614G mutated virus is called N501Y there is another recent mutation which is much more contagious and much more dangerous which is called B.1.1.7 In the UK nearly 60% of the people are affected by the new strain of this virus. In 8th December they were checking for the statistics of these viruses. The scientists, doctors and government officials released a statement that from the area called Kent the new strain has spread. This spike in the UK was very high. So the UK scientists started their research on this virus. When they started the study they came to the conclusion This is a new strain of virus which will be called B.1.1.7 but this virus is highly contagious by December 16th the mutated virus has spread rapidly people were given a warning due to the spread of the virus the UK government announced some regions tier 4 the tier 4 region people cannot come out of their houses they cannot visit anywhere is the UK the only country affected by the new virus No there are other countries but 99% of this new virus is from the UK is the UK the origin of the virus the answer is they still don't know how could the virus spread a human body might be infected by the mutated coronavirus strain that human could have been injected with vaccines but the virus was not killed and managed to mutate overpowering the vaccine When the virus is mutating to survive it could have reached a new mutation of the virus what are the issues with these mutated viruses the normal coronavirus has a crown kind of shape which is protein this protein is the way for the coronavirus to infect the human body through the mutation that protein has been changed to identify the new protein scientists need more time When the virus replicates the host virus there were a lot of changes which happened to result in a new form of the strain and new virus this new virus is capable of spreading rapidly due to this b.1.17 is 70% more contagious than the coronavirus this is the official statement from the prime minister of britain This is the reason the international community has shut down the airlines to the UK. Within 2 weeks the virus started to spread rapidly in Africa. In South Africa the infection has increased by 40%. 
in the african continent the infection rate has increased by 10 percentage in nigeria they have identified a new strain of virus which is n501.p2 the virus which is n501 the mutated version is called n501.b2 this virus is spreading rapidly through south africa this new virus spreads fastly to people who are under the age of 25 until now they said that the coronavirus will affect the elderly most but this new strain will affect people under age 25. This mutated virus will easily infect the children. Now they have come to the conclusion that the virus is spreading in Africa. So they will decide to send the vaccines to Africa first. So if they send the vaccines and test it in Africans, if the vaccine cures the African people, the remaining rich countries will accept the vaccine. Are Africans used as lab rats? This is not a question from us, but they are running a project called COVAX in Africa, which is done through World Health Organization. According to who, people should stay safe. Look at China now, how safe they are. There was one strain of the virus which spread in China. They contained the virus and the deaths have dropped down. There is no new strain in China now. Why hasn't who not conducting any study in China? Are Chinese people having more antibodies? If who has conducted the study, they could have easily developed a vaccine. Is this a coincidence? Is coronavirus a valid and a strong product from China? Will Pfizer and AstraZeneca vaccines only work with coronavirus or other mutated viruses also? We don't know how much mutation has happened. Our question to the pharma companies is, has any pharma company has a vaccine to stop the spread of B.1.17 virus? Scientists say that they cannot confirm the vaccine will kill the new strain of virus. The B.117 virus within a short period has mutated 17 times. This is the first time a virus has mutated itself, said the scientists. In between the 17 mutations, there is a virus called N501Y. Now, from N501Y, there may be many mutations and one among them is this B117. Now, N501Y mutation is called supercharged COVID virus. Brazil was the first country to discover N501Y, but it didn't spread in Brazil. But in South Africa, this N501Y spread rapidly. They warned the people the virus is more contagious than the coronavirus. But the recently identified B117 is more contagious than N501Y. There are chances that the world will stand still. This is the most dangerous virus in the world. So we don't know what Boris Johnson, Prime Minister of Britain will do. What will happen to the new vaccine which these pharma companies have developed? Will they say that they have to start again from the scratch? Will they announce a lockdown again? Will they use the situation to sell the manufactured vaccines? Whatever question you ask to the scientists, they will say no comment. We need more time. This new virus has spread to the Netherlands, Brazil. Where did the B1.1.7 virus originate from? How did it mutate? Before we ask all these questions, there is an important question we don't have an answer yet. We have to find the origins of the coronavirus. Then only we can even think about vaccination. If the mutation continues, vaccines are of no use. No one can stop this virus. The B117 virus strain is discovered. Coronavirus has spread to a human. To kill the virus, this human takes vaccines. To overcome the vaccines and medicines, the virus has mutated to B117. Will there be other new strain of viruses more contagious than the B117? We don't have any answers. Nobody in the world has any answers. Only we can speculate that these viruses doesn't mutate and if it mutates, we will have like thousands of mutated viruses in the world. When the new strain of viruses are discovered all over the world, the Indian people without any masks are roaming the streets. What can we say about that? The Indian people must be more careful and vigilant. Please use masks wherever you go. 
This will save you and also save your family. Comments about this video are most welcome. Please do subscribe and share for more content to Wikivox, the voice of Tamil Pukisham. Please do hit the notification icon. Nandri Vanakkam.